Labyrinth. Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm that crazy? See ya.
Good evening and welcome ahead of what should be a pulsating night of football. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It is Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Buffon begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lasana Diara plays alongside Marco. Running towards goal. One man to beat. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Good numerical situation. Diara given away. Here's Alexis Sanchez. Diara. And understandably, we'll take a closer look at Alexis Sanchez, who's always the man who can make things happen, Lee. Well, he's a running machine. Just watch the energy levels. All he wants is the ball, and when he passes it, he wants it back. You better give it him. Here is Fred. Well, back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, to be honest with you. But it, players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it's going to take shape and the format, etc. But certainly uh, the European Cup is now a thing of the past and the Champions League has really taken shape. Lukaku. Cavani. And it is Marco Verratti. And a chance for them to notch in front. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? And a bit more analysis as regards the goal. The first statement of the night, 1-0. Marcus Rashford... Fred with it. Matic on the ball. Playing with purpose and control. And now Lo Celso. He's in with a chance. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Routine stop for De Gea to make. And given away. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Well, PSG have been in building mode for many a year now. And make no mistake, Lee, the Champions League will be the most coveted prize of all for them to win. Yeah, absolutely. The group stages in the past have not been a real problem for them. But it's just getting over that final hurdle in order to get into semi-finals and finals and actually win the trophy. So a lot's expected of them because of that money. But they need to produce. Alexis Sanchez! Oh, he's missed it! Oh, goal behind Derek, and he's missed. It's a big miss. Verratti. Di Maria. And it's a really good-looking Paris Saint-Germain attack. What will they do next? Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku. Di Maria. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? 
And with that, the first half draw. And the second half begins. It's Paris Saint-Germain on top. Braxler now. Delivered towards Angel Di Maria. Back post. And the PSG corner. Corner kick played in. And clears his lines. Tremendous block. And over comes the corner. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Throw in to Manchester United. Ashley Young. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And the attack goes through Cavani. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. Danny Alves. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Verratti. And the poor touch didn't help them on the possession front. Rashford dispossessed. Half an hour remaining then. Nemanja Matic has it. And now it's with Marcus Rashford. Alexis Sanchez! And the keeper had to react in an instant. Oh, and does he? Wow, does he react? What a save that is. Corner awarded to Manchester United. So the corner played into the box. It could be up for grabs. And he takes on the shots. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Manchester United throw in here. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. It's going to be United's free kick. Alexis Sanchez. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And now this is Lingard. Excellent challenge. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. He's going forward well here. Never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Young. Teamwork might be the key. target lead. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. It is to be a throw-in. Danny Alves with it. And it's Cavani... Sanchez moving in field. What could he do? And it's in a goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. 
Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. They will now make use of the... Uh, substitutes bench. This is Neymar. Mbappe with it. And Neymar. The tackle crisp and accurate. Under Herrera. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Ferrazzi now. Here's Mbappe. Pogba. And uh, Herrera. Well, that will be all for this evening. And hardly the ideal result for Manchester United. They set high standards, but they will have to...
And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary. by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Juventus up against Bayern Munich. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. And so they starting 11 for Bayern. The highly regarded Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Jerome Boateng starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. Arjen Robben starts with Kingsley Coman out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one front runner this evening. Tipala! Corner for Juve. Corner played into the box. It could be up for grabs. Lost by Ribéry. Dybala. We have the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Wasn't great in possession, Ribéry. Dybala. And Kimmich puts his body on the line. The opening goal. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when he comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. A chance to revisit the goal. Underway again with Juventus in front. Leon Goretzka it's with Robin Byron moving the ball around and getting deep into opposition territory Leon Goretzka well, what's Coman going to do tremendous intuition to win it back a new Champions League season is always taken seriously by management at Bayern. And it really is remarkable, Lee, season in, season out, they're able to arm themselves to go far in this competition. Yeah, they're the German powerhouses, aren't they? They get the best of the best. They get the best players, the best managers, the best training ground. Their stadium is superb. Everything about this club is efficient, and it's also talented. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper.
Any sort of lead is important. They have the lead. What have you made of it so far? Well, it's been a good half for Juve. The coach, though, still has some work to do at half-time. It's all about ball retention. Needs to improve a little bit in the second half. Possession. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had worked at it. That's a gorgeous ball from Matsuidi. It's got to be. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all around for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, hadn't he? And fired against the crossbar. And Kimmy couldn't keep it. Crossing opportunity. He's trying to create something. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, if that goes in, Derek, this game would have a very different complexion about It. But as it stands, it still could go either way. Joao Cancelo. It's with Dybala. <laughs> Alexandro. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. The second half is underway, and Bayern need a boost. Now Ribéry has it, and a strong tackle. Here's Ronaldo. Costa with it. He's got forward pretty effectively here, Douglas Costa. Others in the vicinity. Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. Given away. Now regaining possession for his side. Cleverly. And it's with... Oh, he's through here! Only the keeper to beat! Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Corner kick. Oh, you can see he was... Feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close, though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. And a chance to level it. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. No-nonsense clearance. Quadrado. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. Alexandro. Douglas Costa. An abundance of space. Kimmich dispossessed. Ibala. And scope for the cross. And he favours the inside route. The 
tackle crisp and accurate. Matuidi. Possibilities for Douglas Costa. Now it's with Javi Martinez. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Dybala, that was untidy. And here's Joshua Kimi. Ames Rodriguez. Corner opportunity for Bayern. Driven in the corner. Far too straight, really, to worry the keeper. Well, he couldn't make his mind up foot or head. He went for the header in the end. Should have gone for his foot. And options in the centre. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Thomas Müller. James Rodriguez. Opportunity knocks. A Juventus corner forthcoming. And Bayern to bring on not one but two substitutes. Over it comes. Still possibilities. You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Alexandro now. Cristiano Ronaldo. Job done, ball one. He lost the ball, Arjen Robin. Inside the final five minutes now. Juventus have given it away. This is James Rodriguez. Here's Ronaldo. Here is Thiago. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Now Quadrado. Javi Martinez. Bayern have given it away. The referee says that will do it for this group stage encounter and a victory for Juventus.